Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at the Ubuntu Mate 1704, uh, which is a beta um, of the 1704 release that's expected from Ubuntu in April. So this is the Ubuntu Mate 1704, and I'm going to compare it to the Manjaro uh, 17 release candidate that came out yesterday. Now, they're both running the Mate desktop, obviously, but there are some differences. Number one, the menu on the Ubuntu version is the standard applications, places, and system menu. Also, if you open the control center, the items that are listed if you scroll all the way down you will be able to see all of them the big difference and I've gone ahead and I've installed pretty much all of the same uh, applications I installed my Nvidia drivers I installed my Wi-Fi driver the RTL 8812AU and everything is as close to apples to apples as I am able to do, considering that uh, Mate, Ubuntu Mate obviously is Ubuntu, and or Arch is the operating system for the Manjaro Mate. There are some differences. Um, let me let me go over a couple with you. When I installed Ubuntu Mate, I was very careful to install. Ubuntu restricted extras, all of the various codecs um, that you're able to install manually within Ubuntu Mate. And I installed the Fienza icons. Um, I put the dock at the bottom because I used on the Ubuntu Mate, if I go to the control center and I go to Mate Tweak, um, you can see that I'm using Cupertino as my panel selection. Now, on this particular install, um, I did install, I left the compositing exactly the way it is by default, but I added a startup command that eliminates screen tearing on my NVIDIA. I did the same thing on the Manjaro Mate and screen tearing is non-existent. I left the compositing exactly the way it was. Now if I go to Mate Tweak you'll see on Windows I'm using uh, Window Control Traditional Right and Marco software compositor. Again, I don't have any screen tearing on either install. On this Ubuntu Mate install, as you can see, I've got Euro Truck Simulator. Now that was installed through Wine. I also have Battle.net and Hearthstone. Now if I open that up, you'll see that when I use the same install procedure on both on Ubuntu Mate it installed properly everything is running fine I can click play and I can play Hearthstone no issues whatsoever Euro Truck Simulator again same same thing now if I go to if I go to my wine folder, let's take a look at my home folder. If I enable hidden files and I go to my wine folder, you will see that under program files I have Battle.net and Euro Truck Simulator along with Hearthstone. All three are running fine within Wine. I did not have to install Play on Linux and I prefer not to have Wine and Play on Linux installed at the same time so I did this strictly through Wine 
using the same install procedure. And as you can see, within Ubuntu Mate, everything installed perfectly. So for Ubuntu Mate, uh, I'd have to give it a 10 out of 10 because the download, the install, the configuration, everything went perfectly. No issues whatsoever. So let's jump over to Manjaro Mate. Okay, and uh, here I am in the Manjaro Mate 17. This is a release candidate. Um, it's a little bit interesting because during the install, it's the first time I've seen this with a uh, Manjaro uh, spin, uh, during the install you can select the uh, packages that you want to install. And I think they did that just to keep the, uh, just to keep the download the uh, ISO size reasonable. I think it was a 1.2 or 1.3 um, gigabyte download. So um, to make a long story short, I followed the same procedures as closely as I could. I installed all of the uh, codecs in that I normally install in Arch and Manjaro in order to get battle networking. Um, the control center uh, has a little bit of a bug. It, as you can see, you can't scroll to the bottom. It stops about uh, an inch from the from the end of the scroll. You can fix that by opening the window slightly, and then you can get at everything that you need to get at. Uh, the Control Center itself is typical Mate. For appearance, I'm using the same uh, blue submarine theme. I'm using the same uh, icons. Um, you can see I'm using the Fienza ambiance. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep it as close to apples to apples as I can. Uh, but again, that little bit of a glitch in the uh, menu, I'm sure they'll get that resolved. Now, uh, the codecs, uh, they're not apples to apples because it's Ubuntu versus Manjaro, but I tried to uh, stay along the same lines, and I followed the normal install procedure for all of the um, codecs or video audio uh applications that I normally do. So if you go through the menu, you would see that I have pretty much the same uh, basic audio video applications. And again, I follow the same Battle.net uh, install procedures as I normally do. Now, the menu is the new Brisk menu, which I think is um, a poor representation of the whisker menu. So I'm not a big fan of it. If I were keeping Manjaro Mate, I would replace it with the same menu that Ubuntu uh, Mate uses. I pr much prefer that. So, uh, that. so that's one other difference between the two. Here's, now, I installed the same version of Wine the exact same version of wine. So I installed the default version of wine on Ubuntu that comes with Ubuntu Mate when you install it through the uh, through the uh, terminal. And for Manjaro, because they have later packages available, I had to roll it back to the same version of wine. And so it was version 2.0 release candidate 6. That's what I'm using on both of them. If I open up Wine Config, you will see that I'm using 2.0 Release Candidate 6. The libraries are all the same. It's set to Windows XP. So that's as close to apples to apples as I can get. Now Euro Truck Simulator is running perfectly through Wine. But 
Not so with Battle.net. As you can see, with Battle.net, I try to log in, it will not log in. Uh, if I continue offline, it will let me download the Hearthstone application, but it will not let me log in to use it. So I could go ahead and install, but as soon as I click on Go Online and I enter my password, it will not. As you can see, it times out says I can try again in in 60 seconds it counts down when I try again it won't let me sign in so normally when I install Manjaro XFCE then I the stable version and I try to install Battle.net it normally works I'll um, give them Manjaro the benefit of the doubt on this one because again it is a release candidate and so there may be some files missing. I try to install everything that I normally install, but if there's anything that is missing on the, uh, you know, it, that I, that is uh, that's oblivious to me, I'm obviously not going to be able to install it. Needless to say, Battle.net is not working. So if I were to take a look at these two. Uh, Ubuntu Mate 17, which is actually a release candidate, and uh, or it's actually a beta. So I think they're both in the same category. You've got Manjaro Mate 17 release candidate and Ubuntu Mate 1704 release candidate slash beta. Um, I would have to give the edge to Ubuntu Mate again everything just works I did not have to struggle to get battle networking I just followed my normal procedures and I was good to go so uh, I think that wraps it up for the this comparison if I had to pick one I have I would at this point I would have to go with Ubuntu Mate 1704 that one uh, everything just works right out of the box I also prefer the menu that they have um, the standard Mate menu versus the Brisk menu. Now, if you like the Brisk menu, you can install it within uh, Ubuntu Mate. It may even be uh, pre-installed. I think it is pre-installed. It's just a matter of configuring it that way. Um, again, you know, if you're not concerned about gaming, then either one would work fine for you. I think most people coming from Windows over to Linux they are going to be concerned about gaming and so I think two things need to happen within Linux number one is standard distributions need to pay more attention to gaming that can't be addressed by putting out a gaming edition because it just doesn't it just doesn't work for the average user but the average Linux distribution needs to address gaming if they want to attract more people coming from Windows. And the other thing that needs to happen is Battle.net or Blizzard needs to begin to pay attention to the Linux user. Linux users have invested money just like every other user. I mean, if they're coming from Windows, they may already be uh, Blizzard customers. They may already be Hearthstone or World of Warcraft, Diablo, any of the other Blizzard games. They may already be customers. And so, if they're going to make the move over to Linux, if they're fed up with Microsoft, they're going to move to Linux anyway. I think it's in Blizzard's best interest to address that and start catering a little bit to the Linux user because it's in their best interests because they're going to retain customers makes absolutely no sense to me for Blizzard to, to continue to ignore Linux as a uh, as a viable customer base so guys that is my little bit of a rant or soapbox um, 
I feel strongly about uh, Linux and I think Linux is going to be held back growth will be inhibited until gaming is addressed by not only the Linux community but by the gaming community so guys thank you very much for stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care